What's up everyone, Jossie here, and here is my morning routine. I've wanted to do this kind of video because so much has changed since I started working from home about a year ago. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The first thing I do is obviously take a shower, especially since I have a meeting pretty early in the morning. I like to shower before that first meeting. I actually like listening to sports in the morning or just some sort of meditation playlist on Spotify. I then put a little product in my hair so my hair isn't dry and no, I don't use texturizer. My hair is naturally curly. It's usually pretty cold in the apartment, so I throw on a hoodie first thing, and this hoodie was sent to me from Be Black Educated. The kitchen is a mess, and it's really hard for me to concentrate and be creative with the space looking like this, especially since the apartment is open concept. You can see everything, so it's time to unload and reload the dishwasher. I've honestly just accepted the fact that anything that helps your immune system and that's really healthy is just usually not good. <coughs> Practice some TikTok dances, cause listen, there are new challenges and dances every other week. I'm trying to keep up. By the way, definitely give me a follow on TikTok at Jossie Lin J. I make similar content to my channel, but it's a lot more fun for sure. Now it's time to make my wife and I some coffee. I usually make coffee after my shower and before after my first meeting. And yes, my Chemex papers are too big. I definitely use too much creamer. Voila, two perfect cups of pour over from Linjay. All right, so my first meeting this morning is around 9.30 a.m., which is just a team meeting Monday morning, and we talk about our weekend, you know, how we're doing and what projects we're working on this week. Sometime after that, I typically dive into the project I'm working on. I always have a habit of running the project first, taking a look at it to remember where I was, then going into our Azure board to see what needs to be done for the sprint. After a while, I moved to my desk because it's actually pretty difficult to do web development using just one laptop screen. Also, my desk is a mess. After some time, I then take a little break and read the word through a plan on my Bible app. I started this new read the Bible in a year plan. I'm definitely already behind, but just trying to be more consistent and draw closer to God with reading, especially with all the uncertainty in this world the past year. Then a few minutes to check TikTok, of course. So I'm working from home. I like to use this makeshift standing desk so I'm not sitting all day.
All right, so that's a really realistic depiction of my early morning routine. I'd say really up until like 1030, that's pretty realistic. Um, or let's say like mm, 930-ish. I'd say 930-ish. But um, I took the hoodie off because I was burning up drinking that coffee and shooting these B-roll segments. But my schedule isn't too crazy. I just had like one meeting this morning and then I have another meeting coming up. But on days like today where I don't have like a lot of meetings, I can kind of take my time, you know, getting into the day opposed to, you know, a typical day where I have my first meeting at around 840 in the morning. So maybe I like meditate, listen to some music, you know, read my word, my daily scripture and or, you know, Bible plan that I'm trying to stay more consistent with. And then, you know, maybe have some tea or some coffee. I love making my wife coffee in the morning. That's something that I really enjoy. Um, she's been working out early in the morning, so she's been getting up earlier than me, but usually I would wake up earlier than her and then have it ready when she gets out of bed. And I just love doing that for her. So that's that's the most consistent thing in my routine is making coffee um, for Lee and myself. And then of course, having my meetings, catching up with emails, figuring out what I need to do, you know, for now, that is the one thing I do like about being a software developer is that I usually don't have a ton of meetings and I can kind of just keep to myself, put my head down, get whatever creative work that needs to get done. Back to my regular desk to take advantage of my 34 inch monitor for more serious coding and debugging. Now time for one last meeting before noon with the developers to talk about any problems we run into or do some pair programming. Now it's time to check emails and do a little bit of recovery with the massage gun. Uh, uh. I've actually really liked using this um, massage gun just to do some recovery when I'm at my desk because I'm always, you know, either hunched over. Actually, let me grab my keyboard. Ugh, there it is. Usually like hunched over or sore from a workout that I did yesterday. So yeah, this is the Tautronics one. I'll definitely link it down in the description box. This is one of the nicest ones you can get for like less than like $130. All right, so fit of the day. I know you all liked when I did this last time. So today, rocking this hoodie by Be Black Educated. You can check them out down in the description box. I really appreciate them for sending over this hoodie. Love supporting black businesses. In terms of sneakers, these are the UNLV Dunk Lows that I got from Goat. I accidentally got these too early because I thought I missed the release, but I really do like this colorway. Really clean, minimal sneaker. So that concludes this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it helps with the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and be sure to hit that notification bell so you can know right away when I release a video. And as always, stay blessed and I'll see you soon. Peace.